Right guys, I'm uh, doing something a little bit different today. As you can see, I've had this wrench for quite a few years now. can't remember how long exactly, probably 10 odd years. And it's, it's only service rust on it, it all still works fine and all. But I thought I'd uh, do a restoration job on it. And you can see all these started there a little bit, and you can see little shiny bits here and there. But majority of it is still so covered in all the surface rust and the handle I need to do, the little, little bottom bit, it all comes apart except for obviously this bit here which I'm going to see if I can take apart I'm only going to be using my Dremel for this to start off with with a sanding disc and I've got a one of those brushes which are really good with later on so what I'm going to be doing is getting all this nice and shiny and restoring it to something it probably would have looked like when it was brand new hopefully. So let's start it guys, something different for a change. So just after a couple of minutes, and that bit is already sort of shiny. So uh, I'm gonna walk with one hand, but. Got a nice fresh one. Got a nice speed click system, so it doesn't take too long to do it. To the top bit there. Okay, now.
Right, let's see if oh, it's getting that right. This side's kind of a lot better. This side I've actually done with the sanding pad and the one of those brushes, so you can tell the difference between that. It's got a little bit of there's rust still on it, but that's so nice and shiny, and got little bits here and there. So once I've done those little bits here and there, be time to final the final nice wet and dry sandpaper. And what I want to do as well is take off these burrs off the top edge. I'll be using the top bit as a hammer, so I want to take that bit off as well. So that's next. Right. First things first. I did actually manage to take it all apart because that bit unscrewed has come off. I ended up hitting that off, which come off, and all this come off as well. So I was managed to get into all the little nooks and crannies and all the bits I couldn't get in before, which I did now. So it's all polished, looking nice and shiny. No bit of rust anywhere on it, all clean. I want to still do the rim of it, but I'll do it at a later date. In the handle as well, I've done a little not check just because I thought what the hell why not I wanted to do knots but decided not to I wanted it to be a quick video instead of a long one but yes from something that's really rusty to something that's really lusty <laughs> see if uh, hope everybody likes it as it is a beautiful bit of steel that's been made into a nice bit of handy material to use because these things are adjustable and they last forever so it's well worth restoring something like this because it will be your best mate in the long run and it's helped me out in plenty of situations and it's going to be easier for me to find now because it doesn't look like junk. So, all I've got to do now is inscribe my insignia on there, which is my logo of my YouTube, which I'll be doing, which, uh, P.S. I haven't quite, quite figured out how to do that, but I'll figure it out. So, yeah, that's my um, cleaned up, adjustable, USA ratchet which I really enjoyed doing and to be honest it didn't take me that much longer I used 60 grit gram sandpaper then went up to 280 after that I got a really like a weird sanding buffering wheel that got in all little cracks and crevices after that I went through the higher grits and then just polished it up and, and it's a tool I'm not going to do it too much it's gleaming like a mirror because it's just going to scratch them so I don't want that I want it to be still usable so I'm going to re beeswax the handle and that'll be it. So, hope everybody likes my revamped version of the uh, my good old trusty ratchet that I've had for years. Don't forget to subscribe because I'm new to all this and like, that'll give me a big help and uh, give a good old share and that'll be all appreciated. See you all guys in a bit.